Welcome back to our boating journey. Last time, we took you on a tour of the 2022 Annapolis U.S. Sailboat Show. In this episode, we're going to take you aboard a couple of our favorite boats, the HH-50 and the Lagoon 46. And of course, if this is your first time to our channel, or if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to hit the subscribe and notification buttons. It really helps us out. And if you have already, thanks. We appreciate your continued support. So let's get going. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. The first boat we boarded at the show was Tribute, a privately owned HH-50 custom catamaran. This was the last stop for the owners before heading south for the season. The first thing you notice when boarding is the expansive cockpit and how the port side seating flows nearly seamlessly into the salon through the large open doorway and flush threshold. Perfect for entertaining at the dock or at anchor. Tribute features both port and starboard raised helm stations. Heading up to the enclosable starboard helm, you'll find an array of modern electronics, winches, and a capture bin for all the lines routed to the helm. Moving towards the bow, you'll see flush-mounted hatches to reduce tripping opportunities, dagger boards, and an expansive trampoline. There is a built-in set of steps to aid in getting to the roof deck. The mast, boom, and many other structural components are made from carbon fiber to increase strength and reduce weight. The owners have also added an array of rooftop solar panels on both sides to help power the boat. As you enter the salon, you almost don't notice the transition from outside to inside due to the large pass-through and windows letting in so much light. The visibility is incredible. The starboard side galley up configuration features dual fridge and freezer drawers, a four burner gas cooktop plus oven microwave, sink, and more storage than you can imagine. I also like the floor lighting below the cabinets. Next, the portside primary hall did not disappoint. It features a large, queenish size bed to aft and plenty of storage on both sides of the hall. Through the stateroom, you'll notice how bright it is due to the number of hatches and port lights letting in so much light. Of course, for a long distance cruiser, a washer dryer combo is a necessity. The head consists of a separate shower, toilet, and sink. I do like that it also has a fan to help keep the air moving. The port side cabins feature a unique double berth setup in each cabin as well as a head.
After walking through their home, we were able to speak with the owners to get a bit more insight into their plans. How long have you had her? Uh, it's coming up in two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Okay. Very the, cool. um, some of the Eastern Caribbean, we're going to do more uh, point south this year. Okay. We've been to Maine and New England. And Where is home port, typically? Well, uh, originally, well, the boat's registered in um, the BBI. Okay. Originally, we were from Tampa Bay. Oh, okay. And Jeff sailed and raced all his life. Right. I'm, I'm a little newer to it. <laughs> you know, when we were looking at cameras, he just wanted something that was going to be good. Yeah. And she's really fun to sail, and she's right. really comfortable. Oh, yeah. Really hungry. Just have that hobby horse, normal right. hobby horse. Right. You know, yeah. when I'm talking about with a cat. Yeah. So, and, and there's a few reasons for that. The tunneling of the hull okay. in the bow. Okay. That she drives really quickly. It's nice. light. The C shaped boards, which give lift and drive. Right. The rig's powerful. So, okay. she doesn't do this. She just goes. Goes through. Awesome. Okay. And so, for seasickness, it's just yeah. like. Normal cats or just yeah, yeah, it can be like that, yeah. Nice. Allie and I were both impressed by tribute and the build quality of HH catamarans. This is definitely one to put in the memory banks for down the road. Our next stop was to see the new Lagoon 46. Boarding was a piece of cake given the comfortably wide sugar scoops. The cockpit features two seating areas folding dinner table, a nice countertop hiding a sink, cooler, and trash compartment, across from there is a wet bar and ice maker in the lower cabinet. One thing you'll notice missing from the cockpit is a helm station, and that's because the Lagoon 46 features a raised flybridge. More on that later. As we move to the bow, we notice well-placed handholds, a rain catcher molded into the rooftop, and a very wide, uncluttered walkway. The bow features a minimized trampoline in order to accommodate the padded lounge area. In addition, you have access to the anchor chain locker and a couple of dolphin seats. Moving back aft, we took a couple steps up to the flybridge. Here you'll find the solar array, a large lounging area, and a helm with completely unimpeded visibility. As expected, all lines are routed back to the station via the twin electric winches. We headed back into the salon via port side stairs from the flybridge. The salon features fridge and freezer drawers, a large sink, oven, and interestingly configured cooktop in that the gas burners are lined up in a single row rather than the more common square configuration. Of course, the galley features plenty of storage as well, a must for any cruiser. On the other side of the salon, you'll find the convertible settee and large navigation station with engine controls.
This boat featured a three cabin owner's layout. There are two mirrored cabins in the port hall featuring large nearly walk around beds and dedicated heads with separate enclosed showers. They also have lots of storage and large hanging lockers. They were very roomy and comfortable. Across the way to the starboard side, the owner's cabin was incredibly spacious, with a full walk-around queen bed, dresser, sitting area, hanging lockers, shelving, huge windows, large shower and sink. It also has a nice feature in that the toilet is located separate of the shower room. As we all know, lagoons are not racing boats, but if you're looking for a cruising cat that will get you there in comfort and style, this boat just may be the one for you. Join us next time as we bring you a few more of our favorites from the show. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Oh, and please share it with all your family and friends. See you next time.